Hello guys and welcome back to the channel and this week we've been testing this RAV4 in the XL trim level which sits the medium to the higher end but it, it's arguably the best trim level to go for because it brings with all the sort of pr premium equipment that you'd expect to have in, in your versatile um, SUV and we'll talk about a bit more about the specs of the interior and the technology a bit later in this video but from a styling point of view I think you have to agree that it's a very a uh, nice car to look at and it does stand out in, in a very crowded segment and it looks very muscular um, with nice sharp mus muscly lines on the bonnet here which really does help with your visibility from looking out to judge where the end, end and the corners of the car are in which is, it's, which is great considering this is a relatively large vehicle and as you come around to the side this XL version is sitting on the 18 inch Arlo wheels but they still retain a nice thick and chunky tyre which means your likelihood of pothole damage from potholes is severely reduced which is great for maintenance cost. Of course you've got the hybrid badge here because every single RAV4 comes with hybrids as standard. This particular model comes with the privacy glass which does add to the uh, design of the vehicle. Around the back it's distinctively a Toyota and a very chunky one at that. It sort of links to its heritage with the cars more further up the range such as the Land Cruiser which is really nice and you have got a couple of exhaust pipes down the back which refer to this car's relatively high power output of over 200 brake horsepower with the combination with the hybrid powertrain. Electric operated boot on this particular model it is a little bit slow but you can get used to that in the end. <clears throat> The only gripe I have about the boot itself is the fact that this parcel shelf has no handle so you can't actually get your hand in to move it around easily. However, you can just do that yourself and it's not too much of a problem. Uh, there's a little bit of underfloor storage and this floor itself can actually be dropped down to allow a deeper loading bay which is really nice. And I'm going to show you now how the seats fold down. So there's just a couple of levers just here, they just fold nicely down and the other side does the same thing, so I'll come round. Just put the false floor back up to its higher position. And voila, look at that, almost completely flat and that has a proper load bay as well. And the the opening is really nice and low, which means you can sit here, watch events, whatever. Old dog can jump into the back. So, you know, this RAV4 certainly has got a lot of versatility in terms of practicality and usability. Now, this car is screams versatility and practicality, as I've mentioned throughout this video and it's evident again in the back of the car because just look how wide and tall and deep these door openings are. They really are great, which means you can fit a child seat incredibly easy, easily. And of course you've got Isofix on both of the outer seats themselves. And also it's the perfect height just so you can sort of flop in. So for older relatives, it's very easy for them to get in and out of the car. Of course you've got uh, decent sized door bins, a nice feeling solid, it doesn't move at all which just shows how strong Toyota's uh, build quality is. Grab handle there which is nice. Um, it's a nice brushed aluminium trim on the door handle and also on the door trim. It's also um, got some nice comfort back here with a couple of air vents which is often forgotten in this segment unfortunately and also what's great is the fact that it's got actually got two, uh, two USB uh, charging ports there so you can keep your devices fully charged. So what about them, the seats themselves? Well they're nice and wide, you've got decent very good headroom and with the panoramic roof which is just over £800 optional extra, um, let's flood the cabin with light so it's a very pleasurable space to be. And it comes with a centre armrest with a couple of cup holders 
And you know, look how soft that is. The first thing to notice when you get into the RAV4 is how the seals underline the bottom of the car, which means this bit of trim here never gets dirty. And on the majority of the cars, this is overlooked, so it's really great to see that Toyota have thought about this. So now we're inside the RAV4, RAV4's interior, and I think you have to agree that it does look relatively nice indeed. And Toyota have really stepped up their game in terms of the interior quality of this RAV4, being the fifth generation RAV4 in fact, because everything you touch is in the high eye points are really nice. Everything feels solid. The doors shut have a nice solid sound too. And like the leather leather on this XL um, edition, the carpet mats, everything does feel very high quality indeed. In terms of technology, you've got this center infotainment screen here, which is positioned pretty much like directly in your eye line, which means you don't have to take your eyes off the road too much to look at the sat nav or change your radio station which is good and what's also great is the fact that they have retained having the climate controls as buttons which means it's quite easy to use when you're driving so you have to take your eyes off the road too much in terms of overall visibility in, in the front of this car the pillars are not too chunky and you do got this nice little three quarter light but what the best thing is is the fact you can see exactly the dimensions of the bonnet as it's got nice haunches and it's a relatively long and flat bonnet so you can really place this car nicely on the road and also the door mirrors are really wide and give a nice expansive view of what's behind and to the side of you and rear visibility is quite good too apart from the little pillar towards the back but it's not too much of a problem and I think the visibility of this car is so good is because it's got such a lot of glass because the window line is relatively low so it, it does feel very nice and airy and it means you can see even smaller cars that are down by the side of you. So now let's talk about the powertrain uh, for the RAV4. You've got to prop the engine, the bonnet up with just this little stick which is common on most cars now unfortunately and every RAV4 comes with uh, the combination of this two and a half litre petrol engine and also a hybrid motor. Now it can be specified either front wheel drive like this particular car or four wheel drive. Um, and this, in combination with the engine and the battery, it produces on the front wheel drive models 215 brake horsepower and on the four, four wheel drive models it's up to 219. Uh, fuel economy is, is pretty impressive really, you know, this is a large, a large SUV we're talking about here and it will easily, easily manage 45 miles per gallon, um, no problem at all and if you're really gentle, get, you can get it into the low 50s, no problem at all, which is great because a lot of these hybrids don't actually get as good fuel economy as what they claim, but this, in our hands, this Toyota RAV4 has been pretty good. So now we looked under the bonnet, let's talk a bit more how, how the hybrid works in day-to-day -day use. Well, you've got th three uh, driving modes, Eco, Normal and Sport, and also this EV mode bu button. So when you turn the car on, it starts in hybrid mode, um, so it's nice and silent, and you can drive on the electric motor at relatively low speeds. However, as soon as you press the accelerator a relatively hard amount, such as going up hills or progressing up to sort of like 30, 40, 60 miles per hour, then the engine will cut in to help it accelerate up to those speeds. But if you can keep a gentle right foot around town specifically, you can um, ride on the electric motor more than what you might expect, which also contributes to that incredible economy that this gets for a, a relatively powerful and also large car. Um, it's made it to a continuously variable transmission, so it hasn't actually got any gears as such, so it is like one continuous gear. So when you accelerate hard, it does make a little bit of a drone, but, you know, that's not really how this car is designed to be driven that hard, and certainly for the majority of the time, the engine itself is nice, is nice and hushed. Toyota as a brand has an excellent reliability record consistently being one of the best alongside its sister company Lexus and it comes with it as a peace of mind of a five-year warranty which is proudly presented by this um, little five-year warranty uh, sticker in the back window which you see on every Toyota because the majority of cars in this segment come with only three years warranty so that is a real selling point. 
So then, as you can tell from my review of this car so far, I haven't had much to complain about. And that's because this car is an excellent all-round package and you can tell it has been incredibly well thought out even from the initial design um, process, which is great. And some cars often overlook some of the most basic principles that this Toyota RAV4 does get just perfectly right. With the combination of excellent blends of performance and economy from the two and a half litre uh, petrol engine and the hybrid motor, which gives you decent acceleration and incredible fuel economy for such a large and heavy vehicle. And of course, one of the best selling points about this Toyota brand as a whole is its commitment to reliability and the peace of mind that this five year warranty will give you on this Toyota RAV4. So for that reason, I say go and have a look at this uh, RAV4 as I think you may be very surprised indeed of, of what a well-rounded car this is. If you enjoyed this video on the Toyota RAV4, please browse the channel as there are many other video reviews on there. And also don't forget to, to like and subscribe too. Thank you very much.